Well, thank you for that very warm uh, introduction, uh, Madam uh, President, uh, dear presidents, uh, uh, prime ministers, uh, ladies and gentlemen. It is uh, indeed a distinct uh, pleasure uh, and honor to join you today here uh, in uh, Sofia for the ceremony marking the beginning of the commercial operation uh, of the interconnector between Greece uh, and uh, Bulgaria uh, nearly two months ago uh, at uh, Komotini uh, together with the then Bulgarian uh, Prime Minister uh, Kirill Petkov. Uh, we celebrated uh, the completion of the construction uh, of this energy bridge that uh, brings uh, Greece and Bulgaria even closer together while, as has been pointed out, uh, dramatically changing uh, the energy map uh, of our region. Uh, Mr. President, uh, dear Ruman, uh, the beginning of the IGB's uh, commercial uh, operation constitutes uh, an exceptional moment for uh, not just for Southeast Europe, but, uh, Madam uh, President, for Europe more broadly. Uh, as. Uh, this uh, pipeline significantly bolsters energy uh, and supply security uh, for all interconnected countries in the Balkans, uh, as well as that of the European continent as a whole. Uh, this pipeline, as has been pointed out, has been the culmination of cooperation uh, and uh, coordinated uh, efforts between our two governments uh, uh, over the last uh, years. Uh, I've worked on this. Uh, uh, project uh, very closely, very uh, intensely uh, with my counterparts, uh, Prime Minister Borisov, Prime Minister Petkov, the interim governments, uh, uh, and I think the broader geopolitical importance uh, of this pipeline is uh, recognized and underscored by the presence today of the heads of state and government uh, of Azerbaijan, of Serbia, of North Macedonia, of uh, Romania. Uh, this pipeline, as President Aliyev uh, pointed out, will bring um, natural gas from Azerbaijan to Bulgaria, uh, breaking the stranglehold uh, of Russian gas uh, uh, on Bulgaria. And of course, it will, in conjunction with the rest of the infrastructure projects uh, underway in the region, contribute to the development of a reliable natural gas network. Um, as many of you pointed out, when these projects were designed uh, quite a few years ago, not many believed that they could be materialized. Uh, but indeed, today we are happy to be initiating this project. And we're also happy that uh, my country, Greece, is playing an increasingly active role in becoming a regional energy hub that will say, serve the needs not just uh, of, uh, of Greece, but of all countries in the region. Many of you mentioned uh, the very uh, important uh, um, project uh, taking place in Alexandrupoli, floating storage and regasification unit, uh, which will be ready by the end of 2023, which will allow us to import uh, significantly increased quantities of LNG, uh, not just into Greece, but uh, serve the needs uh, uh, of neighboring uh, countries uh, of Southeastern Europe and why not of Central Europe, potentially even countries such as Ukraine could be served uh, from uh, such an infrastructure. So this is uh, uh, a project uh, that is not just an energy pipeline. Uh, it's a project that diversifies, uh, uh, diversifies sources and routes. Uh, it's uh, also a pipeline that uh, connects European states uh, sharing the same uh, European values of uh, solidarity and of regional cooperation. I think it's a concrete expression of our determination to jointly respond to current and future challenges. And indeed, they are incredibly significant, uh, but also to jointly promote the prosperity of our peoples. And I was happy uh, to hear uh, the President of the Commission highlighting this need for stronger European cooperation uh, in addressing what is an open blackmail by Russia uh, when it comes to the security of supply of energy 
to Europe. And of course, this is not just a problem related to the physical supply of gas, it is also a problem related to the price of gas that European countries are paying. And we all know that we're currently imposing a heavy burden on our societies, uh, on businesses, uh, uh, on households, uh, in terms of the very high uh, energy prices. And we also all know that uh, national budgets only have limited capacity in terms of absorbing these increases. And that is why uh, a European solution, which I hope will be finalized uh, during our next European meetings in Prague and in Brussels is so important. Uh, dear Ursula, what we did with COVID, we need to replicate. Uh, with gas, we need a unified European strategy. We need to avoid the fragmentation uh, of the European energy market. And we need to be certain that we place European solidarity above national interests. Greece will also always stand ready uh, to contribute towards uh, this uh, effort uh, in which uh, the European Commission uh, has assumed a very important leadership role. Thank you very much.